Chapter Six, Fractions. Fraction means part of whole or one. When an object or a group of things are divided into equal parts, then each part is a fraction of the whole. Equal and unequal parts. The given shapes are complete. We can divide shapes into equal or unequal parts. Unequal parts, equal parts, two parts, three parts, four parts. Fractions. We often hear terms like one half, one fourth, and three fourths. One half of a whole. When we divide one whole into two equal parts, each part is called one half of the whole. We write one half as one upon two. Two halves make a whole. One third of a whole. When a whole is divided into three equal parts, each part is called one third of the whole. We write one third as One upon three. Three thirds make a whole. One fourth of a whole. When we divide one whole into four equal parts, each part is called one fourth of the whole. We write one fourth as one upon four. Four fourths make a whole. If we take three parts out of four, it represents three fourths. One upon two, one upon four, three upon four, and two upon three all represent fractions. One third, one thirds, two third, two thirds, three fourth, three fourths. Example one: Divide the square into quarters. Solution: We can divide the square into quarters in four different ways. Writing fractions: A fraction written with two numerals one over the other is separated by a line. Fraction is equal to Number of shaded parts upon total number of equal parts is equal to three upon four. The numeral above the line is called the numerator. The numeral below the line is called the denominator. The denominator tells us into how many parts the whole is divided. The numerator tells us about how many such parts. Are taken or considered. Example two. Write the fractions for the shaded parts. Solution. A. Number of blue parts upon total number of equal parts is equal to two upon three. B. Number of green parts upon total number of equal parts. Is equal to six upon twelve. Fraction of a collection. A collection too can be taken as a whole. Example three. Look at the picture here. What fraction of frogs are? A. In the water. B. Sitting on the leaves. Solution. A. Fraction of frogs in water. Is equal to number of frogs in water upon total number of frogs, which is equal to one upon four. Thus, one fourth of the frogs are in water. B. Fraction of frogs sitting on the leaves. Number of frogs sitting on the leaves upon total number of frogs is equal to three upon four. Thus, three fourths of the frogs 
are sitting on the leaves. Finding fractions. To find half, one half is one part of two equal parts. Neha has ten roses. She wants to give half of them to her friend. How many roses should she give her friend? Neha has to give one of two equal parts to her friend. To put the collection in two equal parts, divide by two. Ten divided by two is equal to five. Half of ten is five. Neha has to give one part five roses to her friend. To find one third, one third is one part of three equal parts. To put a collection in three equal parts, divide by three. Twelve divided by three is equal to four. One third of twelve is four. To find one third, keep one part from three parts. To find one fourth, one fourth is equal part of four equal parts. To put a collection in four equal parts, divide by four. Eight divided by four is equal to two. One fourth of eight is two. To find one fourth, keep one part from four parts.